Happy Halloween! <laughs> hey everyone, SMG here. Welcome back to another Brandon Rogers reaction. This one is called Being British Normal British Series. Now, this is actually the second episode because I've seen episode one and seems that Brandon's character and got a new wife and they're like doing a bunch of criminal activity and now they're trying to like change their personalities so many times and well this is the second episode of how they become the british characters that brandon has anyways guys go watch the original video go subscribe to brandon rogers make sure you like this video subscribe ring the bell and share and yeah let's get it in three two one let's go Three, two, one, let's go. Previously on normal British series. A life of crime with this woman was the yep. best I knew. Exactly. I want to meet the sacred one who can change her identity forever. What do you want in return? Five million dollars. Well, fuck me in the ass. Here's the keys to your new home. I suggest you make friends with the neighbors. Yep. I needed to find me a ring. You crossed the oh. Queen, and that's an offense punishable by death. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh. There, you can't all be taking dumps. Why do you love this man so much? He walked into my life and handed over the one thing I couldn't shoot steel Oh at. boy. Love. Be happy you're here. Sure. It's easy to find a man who would They're already you, kidnapped. But to find a man that would kill for you? <laughs> well, they just don't make them like that anymore, do they? That doesn't sound like poop. What do we do now? You go distract the fucking mom and dad. I'm gonna make it look like this bitch drowned in the bath. Genius. I'm coming in. Oh, yeah. See turns. <laughs> the fuck just happened? They just slammed the door in our face. What's going on in there, kid? Uh, your daughter's just taking a bath. A bath? At this hour? Now that seems off. Oh, yeah. Your yeah, that's kind of sus. on her mind. <sighs> oh, shit. <laughs> Sweetheart, we're going to be the plan B. Plan B? Like a pill? Yes, that one. Honey, they're giving our kid drugs. Right. If you kids don't open this door in 20 seconds, we're gonna start getting suspicious. Among us. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stop oh, with Among Us. And here I am thinking the world's biggest knockers were right here. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with Debbie? Oh, bad time really tuckered her out. She was the life of the party, though. I'll tell you that. Debbie, give me something to throw. Debbie. <laughs> What's wrong with our daughter? Oh, she she ate too much. Out. She, she has, has a indigestion. <laughs> She's, She's dead. dead. <gasps> what? Sorry. Yep. <laughs> yep. You're dead. Yep. <laughs> they're running away. Yeah, they're gonna call the cops. Both of you are dead. D E A D. We made a commitment to the sacred one that the Gallagher's would be our last look. Yeah, well, the Gallagher's are now wanted fugitives. You want to stay around playing dollhouse waiting for the cops to fuck our ass? Okay, fine, but we gotta do something for <sighs> this baby. It's been a rough night for him. Yeah. With my Twitter twats out there, I would have never raised the Oh my god, it's the mother and the grandfather. Baby. Without your donations, we would have never found my baby. I'm we're so relieved. Yes, we're very relieved. I'm working out so I can say is that, is that Sam? Calories don't count today. Excuse me, waitress! 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 Excuse me, waitress! We fucked up! I have a name, you know. Well, what is it? I haven't decided yet. What the fuck you want? Is a sacred yep. name here today? Yeah, we got some real bad news, and we're just trying to figure out how to break it to her. What bad news? Well, you see, yep. you accidentally killed the neighbor's kid. Now we need to get our tits out of town, which, which means, means we need our five million dollars back. back. How do you think she's gonna react to that? Let me go ask. She is pissed. We'll get out of this pickle right quick and have a new normal life before we know it. And then what? Is it just gonna be this forever? Probably. I'll tell you what's forever. Death. 
bitch. Oh, shit, the waitress sold us out. You're not gonna run out for my five million dollars, you ass white. That is our money yeah. that we stole fair and square. Oh. Yeah, no mercy, no mercy. Because you are Americans. And Americans are shit at everything. Is that the who manager? The you? Someone who's patient enough to converse with an arsehole who uses a shake weight. <laughs> Star Wars wannabe. Um, how about I get you a new identity at a discounted rate? Why don't I give you a new identity? Oh boy. You can be a cheap carpet. Oh. Get the fuck up, you tit sucking pillocks! Where are you going now? British Airways. Okay, this Awkward. Is Where are we going? Have you been spoke to? No. Then why are you speaking? Look, we're just trying to figure out if we're being rescued or kidnapped here because it's starting to feel like the last one of them things I listed. What oh would you boy. Think being kidnapped? Oh, I don't know. Why is there to a change their identities? A gun at us? Oh, very well, assholes. You are being kidnapped. By who? By, we're southern. By who? By who? By who? By who? Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. The third. The second. Oh shit, she's still doing it, huh? Wait a minute. Uh -oh. With that girl whose head we popped. Mrs. Pamblefuck's mission to retrieve the ring and kill you both has fallen to me. But first, oh boy. Her Majesty would like to have a word with you both. When? Right, about right now. Now. Oh! Uh. Before you meet the queen, you must be disrobed. Oh, 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 oh. Sterilized. And beaten. Beaten? For what? Oh, I don't know. For being traitors, thieves, or just plain cocksuckers. Yeah, you're, gonna, you're probably gonna go to jail, too. Precisely. Oh. So tell me. Was it all worth it? What is that, a serious question? A few months ago, I was nobody! <clears throat> We're still Southern, sweetheart. Oh, shit, you're right. You're right. I know, I'm sorry, babe. I mean, who chooses to talk like this? The vowels are twice as hard and the twang ain't worth it. <laughs> do we get sweetheart? I love you. I love you. And why do you love this man so much? He walked into my life and handed over the one thing I couldn't choose. Uh, I'm afraid this tender moment is giving me... Well, What's British for diabetes? We have no such word. There's no British diabetes. I brought you the shitheads. And shitheads they are. Oh. oh. I think there's been some kind of a misunderstanding, Your Honor. Your Highness. Your Majesty. Sorry, My Majesty, there has been a misunderstanding. Shut up! Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Okay. Look what you've done. Look what you've done to my friends! Oh god! Oh come on, I didn't hit you that hard. That I she know. is so Every creepy. Part could shatter my pelvis. And it has. Most of my parts have been repurposed from orphans. Remember the limbo, baby? That thing is my inner thigh. Quite British, your majesty. Indeed. Fuck. Hey, you, you got Fred, let's go. Sorry about your ring business, but that right there was a gesture of love to my wife, and if you kill if you kill me. And that old busted face of yours was for nothing. <laughs> I'm not going to kill you. Eh. You better order fast, because this bitch won't be back for decades. It's true. Yeah, well, in that case, uh, we'll have a hot dog. A hot what? Hot Just dog. Just a dump in a biscuit. They won't know the difference. Yes, Your Majesty. Now that's true. <sighs> There's no hot dogs in a uh, British. Option, Option one or two. One, give me back my ring. Well, we left that shit at Stencil's house. In Clamville. Well, then fly your colonized asses back to your third world country and give me back my fucking ring! Or what's option two? piss came out. Well, you know, I appreciate all them theatrics you just rallied up there, but what's, what's option two? Yeah. 
Okay, but we can't go back to America. Those big penis policemen are probably looking for us like donuts. I will set you up with new identities and you will go back to your town as a couple of normal British people interested in taking residence in the newly vacant Gallagher. So they're looking for their ring as British people. Even if no one did recognize us, they only allow families in Clamville. Do you know that? That's why you will mm -hmm. be accompanied by my head of security, Mrs. Frontbottom. <laughs> <laughs> Don't giggle at that. Everyone knows British people have private park now. Excuse me, Your Majesty. We're just a couple of shit-filled van girls, and would you mind signing our Union Jack tats, please? Who do I make it out to, my dear? Well, I'm Fisty McTickletate. Mm. And I'm Butt Munch with a capital M. All right, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> I mean, they're fans of the Queen. Like those people. British people are better people. I just googled what a hot dog is. I think you're both perverts, and I politely ask you to fuck off. Okay, bitch. Well, why don't they gotta fuck off? Because we're not perverts. Because they're the good. <laughs> what do you say, sweetheart? She's, I mean, she's also the queen. Silly and shit, but we'd no longer be perverts. They have me at private part names. We'll, we'll do, do it. it. Fan fucking tastic. Time to commence Britishification. Welcome to the British Training Center. Here you will learn to how to be, be British. This is probably copyright music, but all right. Oh. Hey, yo. Now they're just. <laughs> Are they reading Harry Potter? Cans of beans. I remember the Christmas episode, and they had to, like, have a lot of beans. Breakfast. Well, then it'll taste like shit. <laughs> exactly. What are we waiting in line for? Harry it's Potter. And you're waiting in one for another one. Or Harry Potter. To be taken seriously. Say it funnier. I demand to be taken seriously. Funnier. Oh my God. Oh God. <laughs> oh my God. More beans. This is how they get their identity. Identities. <laughs> there you go. That's how they're. How they got their identities. Their true identities. Until your mission is complete, Mrs. Frontbottom will accompany you as your daughter, Clitorisington. Wow, she looks just like her. Yes, yeah, so how will we know when the mission is complete? When I'm holding my fucking ring, you prick! Well, you have to get your ring now. What the fuck? Our daughter just died. Good morning, dear chap. We're British and, and we, we just, just moved, moved in across the street. <laughs> <laughs> Who are these freaks? We're the means worthies, dear bitch, and this is our daughter, Clitorisington. Ah, looks like uh, she has what our little Jerry <laughs> had. Looks like they don't have much time left with theirs. Yes, so tell me what you people do. Well, you oh, obviously you know, need your ring. A good time. Our daughter just I'll tell you what we do. We collect rings. Specifically ones with big green gems. Yes, you have any of those lying about? <laughs> well, we did have one. But our daughter. Yes, yes, where, where is, is it? it? I was gonna say our daughter just passed away, and she really loved that ring. So we decided to bury it with her. You fool! Do you realize what you've done? Well, we haven't done anything yet. Her funeral's tonight. Would you like to come? Oh, oh, oh that'll be yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> so you can get your ring back. Thank you all for coming to our dead daughter's funeral. We know our daughter was a short-term, low-commitment kind of adoption, but we were at least hoping she'd make it to New Year's with that Benjamin Buttonish disease. It's not a disease, it's a There's condition. the ring. Well, it's dead! I knew we should have been more suspicious when we left her alone upstairs with those two adult strangers. Well, those two strangers tried to cover up the fact that our daughter slipped and fell onto a pair of scissors! <laughs> She was the daughter of our dreams for that day we had. There's that ring. You got the ring. Brilliant. For Britain. For Britain. 
for most of the time we were with her. Welcome to the song and dance portion of the funeral. I thought we cut that part. Your daughter is dead and the scissors in her head. Maybe next time you'll okay, get this slaps. instead. All together now, your daughter is dead and the scissors in her head. Maybe next time you'll get to laugh uh, okay. for instead. For the men, your the daughter, daughter is dead, dead and she's got scissors in her head. head. And the ladies, your daughter, daughter is dead, dead and she got scissors in her head. Her head. Daughter, daughter is dead, she's got scissors in her head. Maybe next time we'll get a Labrador instead. <laughs> You've been a great girl. I'm sorry about your dead kid. Hope she rests peacefully. They just don't write them like that anymore. Yeah. Hey, she got the ring. Or they got the ring. You'd better have that fucking ring. And then some. <laughs> what are you staring at? I mean, they had to cut the off the before? dead daughter's you hand to get it, so. Hey, they, <laughs> they got it. That'll be 36.50. I'm fucking five, mate. You think I got 36.50? Now pour me another drink or I'll say you diddle my twat. Meet me back home and protect the ring at all costs. I'm driving home trashed. It breaks my oh heart boy. to see such a sweet little girl lying here dead before my eyes. But it breaks my heart even more to know that she leaves behind two parents who need to get the fuck out of Clamville. Oh. I'm sorry? I built this town for families. You two are no longer a family. You're just a common finger-banging married couple. Disgusting. We can force our in-laws to move in with us. Aren't you aware, idiot? You have to have a child in order to have a family. And, and I, I can't believe they all don't even notice that her child. hand's missing. Now you have to the count of three to get the fuck out of my town. Oh please, you can't possibly be serious. One. She, she's she's gonna shoot shoot the mom and dad. Two. She's gonna. Sh yep. Look at I called it. Yep. Three. Shit, she's still We've recovered the ring in optimal condition, your majesty. Good. I want the three of you on the next flight back to London. We shan't rest until this ring rests upon your finger once more. See to it that you don't. <laughs> no, not you. Keep going. How exciting. Oh. Once we get the old queen off our ass, we'll go right back to living a normal life. Except this time we won't kill the neighbor's kids. Or anything yeah. for that matter. Oh, indeed. Uh -huh. There's nothing okay. Than a straight couple. Well, well, well. It seems our new neighbors have some secrets up their ass. Oh, they f I think they found the ring. Oh, what a perfect dog I'm having. I hope nothing bad happens to me. <laughs> Kill Helen. Oh my god, look at that. Unlike me, Halloween always comes fast. What are you staring at? Have you never seen two foreign people before? I... Oh. Oh my god, where am I? What's Here happening? Is a Bobby worse, bitch. <laughs> oh, you ass. Bobby. How will I ever make it to Boston on November 9th or New York on November 10th? Or oh, Italy it's a on meeting. It's, or it's, DC he, on Brian November is going 10th. on tour. Oh, Red Bank on the 11th. Liar! Red Bank doesn't exist! I swear to God, it's a real city! And you can get your tickets at Brandon Rogers Live Drive. Silence, pussy haver! I'll see to it that you never perform again! Ah! Oh, oh. Amazing. Amazing. Anyways, guys, that was the second episode of the normal British series. Um, Brandon did an amazing job with all this stuff, and, uh... Honestly, great job, Brandon. I cannot wait for episode three. This is actually a very, very interesting series. And hopefully, um, it gets crazier and crazier every time. I mean, yeah. And yeah, guys, go watch the original video. Go subscribe to Brandon Rogers. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe, ring the bell, and share. And I'll see y'all in the next video. There, guys. Thanks for watching. And deuces. <laughs>